On March 6, 2024, officers were called to investigate an ongoing scam taking place at a local family dollar store. They already got the video. What I'm saying, they you got all that. Like, I you, don't. You can. I just feel like if I'm going to jail, there's no reason for me to explain anything. Uh, What's going on, boss? I know you called me. What's going on? <laughs> Good afternoon. How Good are you? Afternoon. We have uh, an employee that is being under ringing. Like, she will charge a dollar and let the customer leave it's about 150 dollars worth of merchandise uh, multiple times during the month of january multiple times uh, in the month of actually a little bit in january multiple times in february and the last one was uh, on sunday um, i interviewed her she's sitting in the back wrote a statement recording a statement she admitted to what happened and uh, we just called you guys okay do you have any evidence of this video I, I got full video and i got a, a recorded statement that i'm i can't use a recorded statement because she's not issued her rights so i can't use a recorded statement the scam was reported as being conducted by one of the store employees who was said to have conspired with some family and friends to steal thousands of dollars in merchandise so the statement, I, I took it and I didn't have to read her right. I'm yeah, but I have to. I got under you. court of law. I got under you. Fourth Amendment. Understood. Okay. okay. Uh, all right. Do you have a tally of ever, uh, how much she actually took? Uh, we're so... We're, How old is she? Uh, I believe she's 21, 22. Okay. Hurry up, you Tina. Hello, Tina. Tina. This is the officer. How you doing? Hi. You have an ID on you? It's in my purse. Okay. Where's your purse at? It's in the um, front right there. I'll go get it. Okay. Roger, come on. Remember this? LP right. is back there. What's going on? So, um, I'm going to put my LP yeah. back to it. Uh, Deputy Paul, yeah. Um, what's going on? Pretty much as I explained, um, since the beginning of February, mm -hmm. she pretty much knew people from Facebook and regular customers, mm -hmm. and she's in a tough situation with her family, and she figured, mm -hmm. I let you take the merchandise you want, all I need is 50 to $80 coming to me in cash and I will under ring every other item so she will buy the items or not even ring it so you okay. can see transaction when she at the end voids it okay. to zero or you can see when she only scan a lollipop for 35 cents a dollar and then you see like a full buggy leaving the store full of merchandise the female employee was caught on camera scanning inexpensive items for her accomplices and then letting them walk out with tons of unpaid merchandise which over time was valued at over several thousand dollars have, um, mm -hmm. Do you have the videos uh, each time, get in time? Yes. Okay. Um, yes. Do you have a, a, a laptop or anything I can view it, I can look at? Um, Some of we the can view it right now in the screen. Yeah. <clears throat> you also have, this is also a log of everything, right? Yeah. Yes. Not everything. Not everything. I'm going to talk to you for a minute, but I, I don't want you to start calling everybody. I don't want people to start showing up here. And Ain't this. nobody going to show up here, but I'm not just for them. I can't get in contact with my fiance. I'm actually going to go to jail and nobody knows no, where I'm not, I am. I'm not saying, well, I don't know whether you're going Trust to jail or not. I'm a convicted yeah. felon. I already uh, dealt with police so many times. I'm not dumb. Okay. There's a reason y'all came. I'm not stupid. Well, if someone makes a complaint, I have to come, I have to respond and investigate, okay? So that's that's why I'm here. Do you understand? So just give me a second. Which one can we pull? Read it to me, 3 5. At 13 3 5 at 13. Mm -hmm. <clears throat>
35? 29. 25. Yeah. Okay. All, all those items. Uh, how much uh, the transaction? Yeah, that's a hundred. But how much did the customer pay for? Fifty nine cents. Fifty nine cents. So over a hundred. Over a hundred on that particular one. Fifty nine cents. So what's, what was the date? Uh, the day over there is March 5th at 1221. So that will be Sunday. That will be the last transaction. The loss prevention department was able to show the officers some footage of the employee's criminal activity, which clearly depicted how big and bold her scam was. What's the next one you got? Um, 33. 33, what time? 1956. Are you able to pull the receipt? Mm -hmm. Okay. And give it to okay. Or the link that you guys send, I can upload yeah, it yeah. to the file too. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. That customer paid 59 cents. This is another customer that paid 59 cents. So, what was the date? Uh, March 3rd, okay. Sunday, and 1956. So the other one was March 5th? Correct. And this one is March 3rd? Yeah, we're going over. Yes. Yeah. Third. Biggest question. You all want to prosecute? A hundred percent. Yes. What, uh, what was the time? Uh, time is 1957. This is a lady with the pajamas. Mm -hmm. There's over $150 in here or more. And how much did she pay? 59 cents. What did we calculate her? When we look at the product over 150, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So she says she's she's been going through some financial difficulties, and that's then, what she say on the uh, on the video. I mean, on the recording and during my statement that she then, was doing it for her kids. For her kids, okay. And she, you know, she would let them go, and then they would give her money. Yeah, know? I guess uh, they mm -hmm. they know her from the streets. Okay. So they know to from come the to, area, from to the come area to, right to come to director, and then they will give her the money, like in a little piece of paper, okay. fifty to eighty dollars a pop. As okay. soon as we have all the videos. Yeah, we will um, um, you so send us a link. What's, what's going to happen is for prosecution purposes, we need someone with expertise to explain all that to the state attorney's office. Okay, I'm going to need your information. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to talk to her real quick and then. Okay. Um, Not a problem. Let me give you save this and I need a case uh, of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, no problem. Um, What's the book we're talking here, or which way? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Sure, fine, but. See that? Can you turn it off for me? Alright, so. I guess they already talked to you. No, you turn around first. I guess they already talked to you. Who's that? That's my people. I I need to know what's going on. Okay. Um, I guess they already talked to you, and um, and you talked to them about what's been going on, right? Mm -hmm. Um, I need to get get a statement from you, and and it's find the same out. statement I gave them. No, I wrote it on the paper. No, no, no. I listen. I don't know what they do. Okay, my job is to, I'm impartial, okay, my job is to talk to you and find out what's going on. 
Okay, I need to ask you a few. I got money from people and didn't ring them just, up. Just give me, right. give me a second. Just give me a second. Okay, I'm gonna ask you a few questions, and I'm gonna, you know, you you watch TVs. I have to advise you of your constitutional rights. Okay, and then I'm gonna ask you a few questions. Do you understand? All right. I need to ask you a few questions. Are you under the influence of drugs or alcohol right now? Weed. Huh? You, weed. you smoke a little bit of weed? What, uh, what's, what is the highest level of your education? Of Eighth education? grade. Eighth grade. Um, did you play any sports in school or? Softball. Softball. Uh, I'm, required I'm required to warn you before you make any statements. I'm required to warn you before you make any statements, you have the following constitutional rights. You have the right to remain silent and not answer any questions. Do you understand that? Any statement you make. Although the suspect gave the loss prevention department a written statement, it was inadmissible, and the responding officer was required to read her the Miranda warning and take a new statement should the suspect be willing to talk. Must be freely and voluntarily given. Do you understand? It is, it's a recording. You have to say yes or no. Yeah, I just feel like if I'm going to jail, there's no reason for me to explain anything. I'm, I'm just... I just I want to say that. No, I, I have... Going jail, just, then just, I don't listen, want to do that. I, listen, before I ask you any question, I have to read your rights. It's, it's by law, okay? Um, with those rights in mind, are you choosing to speak with me? Um, the only thing I got to say is if I'm going to jail, I don't want well, to answer Listen, nothing. I... All right, so what I'm trying to tell you is that if someone says something, I've, I've known you for, for I've, I've come here and I talk to you, whatever. I don't know anything about you. All I say is, hi, how you doing? I come to you, I, I purchase whatever I need to purchase, and I walked out. I don't know anything about you. Someone says something, I need to know what happened, okay? Because a lot of time people say, hey, did you talk to so-and-so? Yeah, she was nice. She told me what happened. You know, she was having some issue, whatever. So I can present that to whoever I need to say to. But what I'm trying to say is that I can't just go by what someone say. I have to talk to you and get your side of the story. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, how long you been working here? October, November. So you've been working since October? October or November. Okay. You're part-time or full-time? Full-time. Full-time. You work normally day shift, right? Both. Day and night. Are you married? Have kids? My kids. How many kids? Three. Three kids. You like working here? Yeah. Do you have any problem with anybody here? Um, who's your Rogers your supervisor, right? Yeah. Okay. Have you, do you have any issue with him? Okay. So um, like with with the transaction can you tell me like what's what's going on like I why because I don't want anybody to come here and put a gun to your face and threaten you and whatever and and then we're gonna have to go hunting them down and, and and find out just make sure that didn't happen okay I just that's why I need to get a started story from you to make sure that you're not you safe that no one threatened you or anything nobody me. I, I can't hear you nobody threatened me okay all right can you tell me what's going on I just said I rang people up. They gave me money, and that was it. And so you you charge them more, um, charge them less than what the value of the the, the merchandise. Mm -hmm. Huh? How much you normally get from them? This all depends. Sixty, eighty, a hundred depends. The person, the I don't, I don't know. It's just different prices. I don't know. Okay. How to explain the same shit? So like between fifty to a hundred dollars. Um, these people that normally, like, do they know you? How do you know them? Like, the street. The street, like, in the neighborhood? Around, yeah. yeah. Okay. Like, do they know to come to you, or how does it work? If we're doing the same statement the man just took from me on a piece of paper. I, 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 the, what I'm trying to say is that I just I need it's to. It's either I know them and they just come into shop and they see me there and that's just what I do. I don't call nobody like 
I, I, I don't know. Like, that's what I'm saying. If I'm going to jail, there's no point to explain all this because I'm going to go to jail with a migraine and aggravated as fuck. Like, okay. they already got the video. What I'm saying, they you got all that. Like, I don't. You, you, can, you can stop. You can say at any time, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk about this anymore. And then I'll stop. Do you understand? My, my, my point, they got the video and everything. So there's explaining myself. Ain't going to do but, nothing. But what I'm trying to tell you is that I need to get your side of the story. And I told you already, you can, at any time, you can say, hey, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Okay? I already explained I was not, I was getting money from people and I wasn't ringing everything up about who it is and where I know them from. All that is irrelevant. It's okay. like I did what I did. It was a mistake. I know I was wrong. Like, now what's the next step? Okay. How long this been going on since you started? Since like January. Since January? I didn't do it the whole time. How much money do you think you got a total from these people? Like, a couple hundred. I don't, I don't know exact money. Like, you know what I'm saying? From from January, like maybe I don't know. a thousand, two thousand? Not that much, no. I mean, just, just a rough guess. Five hundred? Six hundred? Less? Like, I don't, I don't know. Every time I get money, it's gone. I don't know. Okay. Um, anything that you think I should know? about you anything that I can do to help you or I mean so no no one came here and, and, and threatened you and no. forced you to do anything right for 12 can you come back here Okay, but I can't wear it till we get there. It's you're not you're not gonna need it. Just no, you're gonna be inside the cold. Uh, it's cold in there. I've been um, you wanna put that in the purse? False jewelry off, please. You can this when I get there. Right. And will your your pants stay without the belt? The suspect was arrested and charged with felony grand theft and received 24 months of probation. What do you think of this arrest and the charges? Do they fit the crime? Comment your thoughts and be sure to check out more of our true crime related content. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.